Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new frame and it's called the Aurora Armor 220. Now this is kind of a different frame and I'll get into that in a bit, but first let's just go over some of the specs here. Now it is a 220 millimeter wheelbase frame and it is a five inch quadcopter. Now the bottom plate is four millimeter, side plates are two, basically everything else is two millimeter on this and it's only basically four carbon plate pieces that's it you get one side plate another side plate top plate and one piece bottom plate and uh, its overall weight is around 118 grams so it's, it's a bit on the heavy side here for for a small frame or we should say it's for a bottom mount uh, frame here now this actually caught my eye when I first saw it and it's, 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 it's pretty expensive actually this is about $50 right here and um, I really don't know what you're getting for $50 I really don't know. Um, I've seen I've seen frames for twenty bucks, thirty bucks that are possibly a lot better than this. First of all, let's start with the flex. That's a lot of flex. I mean, I could I could just crack this right now. I'm not even trying. I'm just bending it. You know, just that that's that's not good. That's that's one thing that's not good. It could be good, but this is way too much. It's more than almost any other frame I've ever done this bend test to. So in that perspective, I believe it fails right now. Um, the overall execution and I think how difficult this thing will be absolutely difficult if you had to take this apart in the field and it has some weird way that it's set up actually as you can see here there's these little nuts and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to slide these two pieces into the bottom plate here stick this stick this nut right there slide it through get it just perfect and then start tightening these which are um, connect to that so I could imagine myself 1,000 trillion percent take this apart to fix it in the field and there goes the screw there goes the nut right there just absolutely disappear now you're not gonna be able to do anything so that is one huge huge big fault on this whole piece right here forget that it probably reduces even structural integrity here but that right there is a big no-no um, in the field this is an absolute headache uh, to, to, to work with Camera protection, I don't even see any camera protection really. Uh, it's not really recessed in that much, so your camera's gonna be sticking up somewhere here. Um, it's, I really don't know what to tell you. I mean, it looks kind of cool in pictures, but when you actually see it in front of you, it's just, I don't see it very practical at all. Now, taking everything I just did into consideration, I don't know how it flies. It could probably fly one of the best quadcopters on the planet. I don't know and um, I won't be building this um, this is this seems like one of those headache frames that I would really try to avoid here um, and it's actually it's very expensive I really cannot justify why it's so expensive I would literally rather go with a real AC Martian X210 Transtech frog is like one of the best frames you can possibly get for 30 bucks you know and that thing is a beast and I'm sure many of you would agree with me so 50 bucks here for this I really cannot justify it it's heavy it flexes um, it's it's mounting is just or it's just execution is just not that great um, I'm not here to hate but I really cannot justify anything nice about this or anything practical or anything very useful I could totally see myself breaking an arm and I rarely ever break arms but I really, really believe I would break an arm in like the third crash into a tree or something. Um, it's just, it's, it's, I, I, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of it. I, I can't see. I'm trying to see something nice about it. But I really can't. Okay, it has a GoPro mount. There's your cutouts for your battery. And your mounting solution for a VTX is kind of retarded here. I mean, they should have the splits at least sideways to go down like this. It's nice they put an SMA port here. Here's some kind of, you could probably put some kind of LED or something was supposed to come with it. But I don't believe it came with it. I mean, the hardware was all there. They gave you extra hardware. But, yeah, um, I don't know what to tell you guys. I personally would just avoid this. I mean... For me, at least, I, I don't, I don't see anything about it. I mean, if it was twenty dollars, I, I wouldn't be doing it like this, like just nitpicking on every single thing. But even this, on this, this would piss me off. 
I mean, if it was a $15 quad, yeah, okay, I would tell you, yeah, it's nice for $15. Okay, obviously, you pay 15 bucks, you can get something like this. But you're paying $57, almost a premium, you know, price. And, and I don't know what they were smoking. Is this a clone of something? If, if it is a clone of something, um, I would really like to know. And um, <laughs> this is a terrible clone. <laughs> so yeah um that's it guys i really have nothing to say I, personally my person from my personal experience or from what i've used i would totally avoid this without a doubt there's i don't see anything good about it at all this is my opinion and this is what i see others might see something different but I really I can't see even the carbon doesn't look like it has that nice carbon finish and just everything the cuts are good I mean, that's all I could really say the hardware was there. I don't think it was very cheap hardware But I didn't tighten this down. So I really don't know uh, You're gonna definitely lose this in the field. That's for sure. If you're gonna have to take it apart You can say bye-bye to that <clears throat> And well, that's it guys. I really have nothing else to say about this So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the video here and I really hope I helped someone out there. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.